we are the children of sages in hinduism lord brahma from his mind have created sages they have married and they have given birth to children we are their children only in this thing sometimes sages have given birth to sages also right so you see these sages have written about vedas mantras and whatever comes in hindu pantheon is produced by these sages only nowadays you know everyone wants to spiritually elevate themselves want to become like vivekananda yogananda etc right but no one is wanting to become like our sages in this process people think that getting married producing children is bad wherever if we look at the life of our sages we will understand that it is not so though it is a very different topic we went a little bit of off topic the topic for today that i am going to discuss very important is the nakshatra division into sages so basically the nakshatras are divided into seven parts and it is believed that we are according to the nakshatra we are born in are the children of a particular sage we are born from the power of a particular sage our lineage belongs to this particular sage the uses is pretty simple basically this is used in south indian matchmaking where it is advised that if the husband and the wife is born in the same gotra if the husband and wife are born in the nakshatra lauded by the same rishi they should not marry this is taken as sagotriya vivah it is like marrying a family member now what happens when you marry in close family the children that you produce these children are weak they have weak genes they are more susceptible to disease and these things happen right so basically weaker children are produced not only that anything that this couple tries to do together that thing is weak so you say after marriage the financial position the professional position authority status of both the husband and wife starts decreasing if they get married to each other this is the traditional uses but in this video i will talk about what i have found regarding how these how this particular differentiation works so first of all let's go through this particular table so basically ashwini pushya swati and abhijit nakshatras are ruled by sage marichi comes under the clan of sage marichi harni aslesha vishakha and shravan comes under the rulership of sage vashishth Kritika, Magha, Anuradha, Dhanishtha comes under the rulership of Sage Angira. Rohini, Purva, Falguni, Jeshtha, Satvisha comes under the rulership of Sage Atri. Mirgashira, Uttra, Falguni, Mula, Purva, Badraprat come under the rulership of Sage Pulastya. Adra, Hasta, Purva, Shada, Uttra, Badra under the rulership of Sage Pulah. And Punarvasu, Chitra, Uttra, Shada, Revati under the rulership of Kratu, Sage Kratu. right so this table you will have to remember now after remembering this particular table first of all lagna indicates birth lagna is the point you see you say god have touched you at your head to bless you the touching point of god to your head is ascendant in astrology ascendant decides the caste status type personality of the person because it indicates the caste and caste which can be taken as trait habits comes from our ancestors right we have qualities of our ancestors mother fathers and others according to me where your lagna nakshatra is falling that decides the rishi that is ruling you so you say if someone is born in satvisha nakshatra he is born he belongs to the lineage of sage atri 
now when you do any worship you take sankalp and while taking sankalp you also mention the name of that particular rishi so for this sadrisha person who is born under the lineage of sage atri should take the name of sage atri while doing any type of vaidik worship this will give them better result this is point number 2 point number 1 is one should not marry in same gotra so basically meaning anyone who is born in satvisha nakshatra should not get married to someone born in rohini purva phalguni jeshtha or satvisha nakshatra itself if this is happening then child and things that they do together there is problem in sustenance of the same so this marry should not be done but if they decide not to produce child then it can be said as okay right or if the life partner keeps their profession finances etc separate then the sustenance related issue may not come to pass so this you know this gotra kuta matching as i told you is south indian matching and have not found it place into mainstream but it is very important as per my experience right <clears throat> this was tip number 1 tip number 2 is when you are doing sankalpam while performing before performing any vedic remedy if you attribute yourself to this rishi result will be good the matching for marriage should be done based on the nakshatra of moon primarily for child related issues and for sustenance related result if you want to see matching should be done based on the birth nakshatra right i think this is very clear now as i was telling you as per our ancestors we have nature behavior character as per our ancestors only the sages in astrology have taken the nakshatra of moon to decode lot about a lot about the personality of the native if you look at classics the ascendant is also taken for personality but if you look at classics the result of planets and the ascendant respecting the ascendant they give normal result like planet in other houses do it is only the nakshatra of moon where the attributes are written as such as it looks like reflecting the nature character behavior trait habit etc of the person right so while deciding the personality of the native nakshatras become very important so you should understand the intention of this sages the behavior of this sages to understand how the native will be what will be the nature character behavior of the native whether you say these are the habits that one gets by heredity and because the habit one have got by heredity it is very difficult to change also right very difficult to change and it is very important right this is point number 1 <clears throat> this can be done for native and so moon nakshatra is given prime importance but lagna nakshatra can also be seen according to me the nature is generally an amalgamation of ascendant nakshatra and moon nakshatra see no person is a pure personality no one is a pure aslesha no one is a pure magha so for example moon is in aslesha lagna is in satvisha person is in satvisha aslesha mix the other person born in aslesha will have a difference because they will have either their moon in different nakshatra or ascendant in different nakshatra this is basically the difference in nature right otherwise you cannot say there are 27 types of people only so 27 multiplied by 27 right 27 different nakshatras for moon and 27 different nakshatras for ascendant if you can say there are 729 types of personality in the world that will be okay but saying that only there are 27 types of personality in the world is something that is not you know not very logical to say in a step now these are what i call you these are very small habits that you are getting from the ancestral level that is very difficult to change so this should be decided based on the moon plus ascendant nakshatra 
and secondarily you can take the nature of the nakshatra where a planet is situated in also and can see how the planet is going to behave or what is the nature of that particular relative that is signified by that planet for example sun and the ninth lord will indicate father moon and the fourth lord will indicate mother mars and the fourth lord will indicate brother mercury and the sixth lord will indicate relatives jupiter and the fifth lord will indicate children venus and the seventh lord will indicate spouse right saturn and the sixth lord will indicate sir Uh, servants and so so the saturn and 10th lord will indicate servants right 6th lord will indicate relatives right rahu for maternal grandparents and ketu for sorry rahu for paternal grandparents and ketu for maternal grandparents have to be taken right <clears throat> now <clears throat> coming to the first अश्विनी पुष्या स्वाति एंड अभिजीत बिकॉज इन नेटल हॉरोस्कोपी वी डोंट अभिजीत मच अभिजीत यू कैन इग्नोर ऑल्सो अश्विनी पुष्या स्वाति एंड अभिजीत आर रूल्ड बाय मरीची सेज मरीची मरीची इज अ माइंड बॉर्न सन ऑफ ब्रह्मा एंड एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू ऑल ऑफ दिस सेवन सेजेस सप्तीज आर द माइंड माइंड बॉर्न सन ऑफ ब्रह्मा ओनली द सेज मरीची फॉलोड द पैथ ऑफ वर्ल्डली ड्यूटीज फॉलोइंग द वर्ल्डली ड्यूटीज doing the worldly worldly duties of getting married producing children and he was very much engaged into worldly life so ashwini pushya swati these people love the material world these people engage a lot of material worlds they have high hopes aspirations and desires as a nature when lagna or moon is there if sun is there then father is very much into materialistic life seventh lord is their life partner is very much into materialistic life so on and so forth interpretation you can make right with a little bit of functional intelligence only that i am pretty sure you are having so no problem at all another point is sage kasyap rishi kasyap is taken as father of everyone now see what happens generally if any non hindu is going to do worship because in worship you have to take sankal so anyone who does not know about their lineage or anyone who is not hindu if they worship hindu gods and goddesses which rishi they will say that they are the children of kashyap right kashyap rishi is the father of all now this is not good so astrologically you have to find based on the ascendant which rishi is your lineage rishi and you take name of that particular rishi for better result as i have recommended you but generally it is sage kasyap that we take now this sage kasyap is the son of sage marichi now because kasyap rishi is the father of all it it tells that ashwini pushya swati these three nakshatra first of all these people are very much into worldly duties and additionally these people have children who do very great works in life and these people have many grand children also right sage marishi is taken as an incarnation of the sustenance energy of sri vishnu hence these nakshatras nakshatras ruled by marichi have a tendency of getting attached with things not you know not being able to detach from things easily all the puranas were told by lord brahma to sage marichi only and because of this particular reason writing books producing new streams of knowledge is what these nakshatra people what people born in ashwini pushya and swati nakshatra do very prominently right writing new poetry books right starting new subjects of education researching on new topics taking some obscure topic from uh, you know from disdain to mainstream <clears throat> they generally do right also ashwini pushya and swati are generally these people become godfather for others they have a time in life where they guide 
young people on how to lead life share their experiences and because of their experiences these young people later on become great men and come to thank you them so they are natural teachers also their life partners are very much devoted towards following dharma and it also indicates that sometimes these people may have misunderstandings in their marriage and they can accuse their life partner or give them a very strong punishment without any major fault of their life partners so they should be careful about it right the remedy the most important remedy for ashwini pushya and swati nakshatra the most important remedy for someone born in the nakshatras belonging to sage marichi is to worship lord vishnu in the form of saligram shila this remedy is very transforming and only if they rigorously worship saligram shila vishnu in the form of saligram shila with vishnu mantras for one year their life changes so greatly that it cannot be explained in words it cannot be explained in words right this is about the three nakshatras ashwini pushya and swati now the next four nakshatras bharani aslesha vishakha and shravan are ruled by vashisht so what are the result that vashisht gives to these nakshatra people born in these nakshatra you see vashisht is a very priestly sage whatever you know whatever this worship etc that we see this priestly work the main transformator progenitor of these thing is vashisht rishi only as people born in bharni aslesha vishakha and shravan are very much religiously inclined and they do a lot of religious activities in their life and they transform a lot of religious things also right so people who are giving new dimensions and new definitions to vedic old knowledge are these people right this is once again is uh, you know mental child of brahma so that is there the life partner of these people bharni aslesha vishakha and shravan people are very chaste very much dedicated very much devoted towards them their life partner also likes them a lot and along with this their life partners are also very famous very popular and very much accomplished in their own professional lives in fact the professional lives of these people though it is slow to start and slow progress is there but almost at the around the age of 55 60 they are at the epitome of their profession and they become one of the top people in their profession also in their lineage in their family at least after after second or third generation a great person is born also whose works brings great name fame status to the family as well right and uh, not only this sometimes this bharani aslesha vishakha shravana nakshatra people also get attached to some other person other than their life partner but they soon realize their mistake and generally remain faithful in their marital life now you see at one place i am saying dedicated life partner at another place i am saying that they may get distracted so first of all this result will only happen when the seventh lord or venus is in this nakshatra if moon or lagna is in this nakshatra then it is a general nature now the nature will be dedicated devoted to life partner when the moon or ascendant in these nakshatras bharani aslesha vishakha and shravan is good healthy not afflicted they will be dedicated and devoted to their life partner where lagna lord lagna or moon sign is afflicted then in that particular scenario the tendency of getting attracted to people other than the life partner will be prominent so whenever there is a contradictory result because at some places what happens there are contradictory results in one nakshatra it may be 
that I tell you life partner will be very beautiful and at other point I may tell you that the life partner is ugly. Now that basically means in one nakshatra where I have always told life partner is beautiful, life partner is beautiful no matter what happens. In those nakshatra where sometimes it is told life partner is beautiful and sometimes I have told life partner is not beautiful, it basically means that if the seventh lord is Jupiter, Mercury, Moon or Venus, or Venus is afflicted by these planets while being in this nakshatra, life partner is beautiful, otherwise not. Because the nakshatra have both the types. Right? This one have to understand. Now these nakshatra people, Bharani, Aslesha, Vishaka, Shravan nakshatra people, they have a great desire to control. And generally in life also, they face a lot of miseries because of their tendencies to control things and people around them. And they cannot, you know, they cannot even for a minute accept the fact that there is someone who is higher or more controlling than them. For this particular reason, they generally don't go well with their elders and seniors. Right. <laughs> Not only this, though it though this thing that I have told you may you know, may make you feel like that they are cruel, but actually they are very kind and very uncompassionate. And if they are attracted towards someone, if they are going to, you know, if, if they are compassionate towards someone or if they like someone, then in that particular scenario, they love unconditionally and unconstrained. And many a times for the people that they love, for the people that they admire, for the people that they like, they take great calamities on themselves also. And suffer at the place of other, at the place of others. Right? And they do not feel bad about it also. They feel a level of proud in doing this as well. Right? Also, there are times in life when these people may strongly think of suicide. They may think a lot about death. They can, they can be greatly depressed. Right, so such tendencies are also present in their particular, uh, in their horoscopes and they should be careful about it and whenever possible, they should try to spend time with people who understand them, people who care about them and should never live in isolation or keep their thoughts to themselves. Otherwise, they can become very depressed and they can become great negative thinkers. Right. Now come to the next set of nakshatras, Krutika, Magha, Anuradha and Dhanishtha that is ruled by the sage Angira, Angiras. Whether. This is father of Braspati, Jupiter. Right? Sage Angira is the father of planet Jupiter. Now this Angirasas. Angirasas are greatly connected to Atharva Veda and Atharva Veda is greatly connected to the, you know, what is magic today? How do you understand? Rather, you should, I say, you know, Vedas, Rig Ved, Samaved, Yajurved are more focused towards doing Yajyas, Homas for the betterment of the world. Atharva Veda, on the other hand, is focused on doing Yajyas, Homas, Stotras, prayers for the betterment of the self. So all these, you know, all this thing that is centered at the person, the, you know, doing remedies and all of these things for one's own benefit is Atharva Veda. And Sage Angiras is greatly connected to it. So these people born in Kritika, Magha, Anuradha and Dhanishta are, have the approach that if I make my life better first, only then I can help people and they work very much towards improving the lives of people in general and their motivation is to increase the life lifestyle and the status of people in and around them they work in these areas not only this they are also very philosophically active they have a philosophical bent of mind love for knowledge and they see everything very logically they have a very deep mind very deep thinking abilities also and whatever situation scenario comes in front of them, they take a decision only after much thinking. Of course, 
children's born into kritika maga anuradha and ishta don't get these states until and unless they become mature you know many a times children uh, get confused that we are born in this nakshatra but we are not having this trait child you need to grow first right so they are they are having a philosophical bent of mind and they only do things after thinking the good and bad also not only this there is one trait is very prominent these people replace some authority so generally the trait you know that a person who was in charge who was in authority dies or gets diseased and the person replaces them right or uh, this is a particular trait of these nakshatra or on the other hand you know filling a void that was there in professional life personal life in family that was there since a long time after a after a demise of some elder is filled by these people right not only this new researches new innovations specifically which help the material world right new innovation new technologies which help the new material innovations and inventions which help the material world standard of living of people are also done by these are also done by these people born in kritika maga anuradha and anishtha nakshatras right so they work more into these areas these nakshatras kritika maga anuradha and anishtha generally indicates more than one marriage or may indicate that these people have had have had multiple relationships before marriage and generally in life such situations occur where they will want to leave their life partner and go experiment things out of marriage have a concubine or leave their life partner and go into another marriage right so multiple marriage multiple relationships are something that is very importantly seen in these nakshatras the children of people born in these nakshatras generally gets prominence name fame owner in their life because of these people So basically meaning the children's of these people generally get name fame and status in life because of virtues of their fathers that is this person they are so legendary for these people the best remedy is to fast fasting so you check if you check on the day of the lagna lord if these people keep fasting then it is very good for them for their spiritual progress and this is one of the most powerful remedy that they can do even these people are very foodie food lovers they generally drink speak talk a lot and because of these particular things sometimes because of these particular habits sometimes they even tell their weaknesses and uh, yeah they tell their weaknesses to others which others can use against them at odd times thus these people should be careful about it the next set of nakshatra rohini purva falguni jeshta and sadavisha is ruled by the sage atri who is taken as father of moon also who is taken as father of lord dattatreya also sage atri was born when the brahma's placid mind went into a vibratory mode so you know mental dilemma confusion is a trait very strong trait that these people generally suffer through in their life they have a very unstable mind they cannot focus and fix themselves on one things and they are generally surrounded by dilemma in fact in speaking talking these people are very good they have great uh, great oratory skills also their life partners have very good nature and behavior and do not have any type of malice towards anyone their life partners love everyone equally right love their own family members and their in-laws equally and their life partners are free of any type of blemishes as such right life partner is a very good very pure person but because of situations because of circumstances because of fortune these people at one point or other point in life get face in face with evil people or get face in face with those people who don't have good approach who don't want good for these people and they are generally owing to bad dashantar dasha in the times of bad dashantar dasha these people are 
generally very much tortured and harassed by anti social elements or because of false allegations etc also but despite going through such torturous things such torturous experiences these people are very much compassionate and not only they have compassion towards everyone even to people around them they teach compassion and they do not let anything bad or anything cruel happen around themselves or let anyone do anything cruel to anyone around themselves not only this they are also harbinger of great changes in the world right they are harbinger of great changes in the world because of them some very great things happen in the world which changes the society to a great extent so this is generally like you know people working in philanthropy who create those changes at governmental at state level who in turn affects the life of people greatly for many years to come that these people always remain thankful always remain thankful to these people who are born in rohini purva phalguni jeshta and satbisha or have a strong planets in that strong planets in these nakshatras for a particular example if you see the horoscope of modi ji modi ji is having venus lagna lord and eighth lord in purva phalguni right lagna lord and eighth lord in purva phalguni and uh, yeah and because modi ji is having lagna lord in purva phalguni that is ruled by atri and as i told you atri brings great change modi ji is making such changes to india at large and to the world also at large which will be remembered by many generations to come right so such person is the harbinger for starting point for seed for a great transformation which changes the life of many people great revolution these people do not only this as i also told you that the kritika magha anuradha and dhanishtha these nakshatras indicate replacement that these nakshatras indicate replacing something so you see modi ji is having moon in anuradha nakshatra now because modi ji is having moon in anuradha nakshatra and jupiter in dhanishtha nakshatra moon is the 10th house lord and jupiter is the i take libra lagna for modi ji and jupiter is the 6th house and 3rd house lord so because 10th house lord moon goes into anuradha nakshatra which is ruled by sage angiras which i told you indicates replacing the career of modi ji as a cm of gujarat started from replacing the then cm who was ill so modi ji was advised to take the place right but modi ji said that i will not take a place as a substitute but i will take the place completely right so his career started with replacement only right so in this particular way the predictions are to be made now going further mrigashira uttara farguni moola and purva bhadraprat nakshatra are ruled by the sage pulastya sage pulastya is a great learned man which makes people born in this nakshatra great learned also specifically practices of advait such as meditation believing in brahman right doing those spiritual practices which elevates the mental and emotional state of the native they are very much interested in that and only these methods of worship and religion is a effective and worthwhile remedy for them in fact these people are also very much interested in yoga body building exercise and other such things and should practice such habits otherwise they can be suffering they can suffer from multiple types of diseases many type of ailments not only that they are also producers of great knowledge by writing books producing videos on Uh, their experiences and on the knowledge that they have gained they create great change to the world they are also very compassionate and generally 
have an intruding nature in people's life when they see someone doing something which is bad which is cruel they try to stop the other person from doing the same multiple marriage and multiple relationship having the tendency of having affairs outside of marriage or before marriage is also a trait with people born in this nakshatra right people born in the nakshatras of birga shira uttara falguni mula and purva bhadra right not only this the children of these people born in birga shira uttara falguni mula and purva bhadra generally their children are uh, you know their children can go on the wrong path and can give them much pain shame also right so they should be careful about it the next set of nakshatra adra hasta purva shada and uttara bhadra is ruled by sage pulaha and like sage pulastya sage pulaha is also very much interested in self knowledge knowledge of brahman hence things such as meditation knowing the self and these things greatly affect people born in adra hasta purva shada and uttara bhadra but then only these type of remedies are the remedies which work and bring actual change in their life normal methods of just worshiping just chanting the mantra without contemplating on the inner secret uses of it generally according to my experience i have not found it to be much helpful these people born in adra hasta purva shada and uttara bhadra prad are also very highly dedicated and devoted to their parents take their parents as their idol and are and have a habit of almost worshiping them right worshiping parents as their guru worshiping parents as the first god proves very beneficial for them in fact they are very much attached to their parents not only parents all family members as well if these people starts living on the bank of river or they have a habit of uh, visiting a holy river very frequently and taking a dip there this is also a very strong and very powerful remedy for them which keeps many troubles away from their life not only this professionally these people become member of one of the highest like you see say they will be working in a company which have many people in hr department or such department and they are one of those key people there right like one of the top judges one of the top policemen one of the top army men so they generally are the part of a group of very prominent people they are also very compassionate very tender hearted and don't try to do you know they they, they, they remain very conscious of uh, you know not doing bad to people and if they ever do bad to anyone even by mistake they soon realize it and repent it a lot also there is one thing there by gifts by unexpected means winning lottery stock market or in uh, yeah kya kehta hai so in uh, through lineage right they get a lot of money wealth resources also right worshiping shiva doing mantras related to shiva visiting the temple of shiva is a very strong remedy for these people that these people should do otherwise keeping their life trouble free is not possible and one difficulty or the other is always there in their life which keeps on disturbing them lastly punarvasu chitra uttara shada and revati is ruled by is belongs to the sage kratu and the special trait of this particular nakshatra is these people fulfill the wishes and desires of their parents there is generally a dream that their mother or father have seen but because of some reason or the other they were not able to fulfill it make it reality and these people being the obedient children fulfill these wishes and desires for their parents right for example parent wanted to become a teacher that they could not become so these people will take teaching as a profession and will give pride to their parents 
worshiping the sun god visiting the temples of the sun god doing mantras of the sun god is very beneficial for these people and save them from many troubles specifically if these people are suffering through disease bad health bad marriage bad time in professional life the mantras of sun the remedies related to sun will be very beneficial and like the previous nakshatra of pulaha these uh, people also are member of form part of very prominent people in their profession or in their society they enjoy the association of great people company of great people and form great institutions as well right so this was all basically the division of nakshatras into these rishis tell us about our lineage our ancestry the habits the tendencies that we that we get from our lineage and ancestry that are very difficult to change not only this it also indicates karmas that are there you know like it is believed that any karma that the father have left or ancestors you know that, that there is a story in garuda puran that a particular king though he was very much dedicated and devoted and was a great devotee was doing a lot of spiritual penance was not able to get emancipation so lord narad comes to him and lord narad tells him that you are not getting emancipation because you are not fulfilling the wishes of your ancestors he talks to his ancestors and ancestors tell him that we have produced to you for continuation of our lineage so that you fulfill our wishes and desires and because you are not doing that you are not getting emancipation so then he then marries produces children fulfills the wishes and desires of his ancestors and gets emancipation so whatever your ancestors have wished for you to do if you don't do that you will not get emancipation and not only that in the vaidik panathan nowadays to we worship saraswati durga and all these gods and goddesses but in the vaidik panathan indra agni these are the prime gods in the same manner pitrus are also prime gods in vaidik panathan and without the blessings of pitrus achievement satisfaction contentment in life is difficult to achieve right without the blessings of ancestors what happens one can have a lot of money but happiness he will not have it is like you have a bed but you are not having good sleep you are having sleep related problems so what a good bed will do so to make sure that you get sleep on good bed and get good bed also you have to make your ancestors happy and to make your ancestors happy you should fulfill those karma you should have that habit you should do those remedies that they wanted you to do you should have their traits as i have told you you should do the karma that they wanted you to do that is signified by these nakshatras right because at the end of the day the first person in our lineage are the great sages the saptrishis and there are remedies like you know since last 7 8 generations shiva is being worshiped in your family and because of this worship your family have got everything now if you stop doing shiva if you stop worshiping shiva and start worshiping any other god what will happen the other god will not be able to help you and shiva will become angry so in this particular scenario you generally listen to people sir i worship a lot i am very devoted but the god is not listening to me good thing is not happening to me you know th this is like ignoring your kula devata and going into the going under the tutelage of some other deity which is not a good thing to do you worship all the other gods but don't worship your kula devata progress cannot be there you worship your kula devata you don't worship any other god it does not matter so your four fathers have decided a particular deity for you as i have told you and if you worship them then even the greatest blessings you can get with very little effort the worship of this planet is 1000 times more beneficial than worshiping every other planet or every other deity right so this advice should be taken very seriously because in the vedic panathan from where the nakshatra belongs to because the lord of the nakshatra are also the vedic gods these sages play a important role and ignoring these advices may cost very greatly because it will cost failure it will cost lot of hard work and very little result 
which according to me no person deserves so realize the potential and do what is needed then